Time's a wedding tomorrow. Filming a bachelor party ever amounted to anything good. Oh. Last night of freedom. Last night of freedom. Last night of freedom. Last night of freedom. Up here on the right. Hey, up here on the right. Where do the high school girls hang out? I can show it to Sarah later, right? Uh, boys. Yeah. Welcome to heaven. My name is Neil, and I used to be a volunteer teacher. I'm here to end child sex trafficking. Hi, I'm Johanna and I'm in sales. The issue of child sex trafficking is one of the most burdened ones in my home country of Albania, so you can imagine this is very close to my heart. My name is Jessica. I'm a graduate Ali. student at the Teachers College. And the reason I'm passionate about ending child sex trafficking is to stand up for the defenseless, to protect the innocent, and to give those who have no voice a voice. An estimated of 200,000 American-born girls are trafficked into the sex industry every year. The average age of a child being trafficked is 12. I am here to join the fight against child sex trafficking. Most of these young women do not have a voice and times not even a choice to speak on their own behalf, so it is time that we do it for them. We have decided to create a comic book that educates children about the dangers of human trafficking and empowers them to protect themselves and their peers. A powerful way to reduce the incidence of sex trafficking is to educate children about the issue. That's what impresses me about this comic book and its approach. Not only does it explain the issue responsibly, but it gives children the tools to protect themselves against predators. My name is Emily. I'm an elementary school teacher and I'm passionate about the fight against sex trafficking because children have the right to be safe and it's our responsibility to protect them. Hi, my name is Thomas Essler and I conceived and wrote Abolitionista, this manga comic book for girls 11 to 15 years of age. Hi, my name is James and I'm from Durban, South Africa. I currently work in finance. I'm passionate about putting an end to sex trafficking because it's a huge problem back home in South Africa and I'd like to see it ended in America. Any child forced or manipulated or engaged in the sex industry in any way is legally considered a victim of human trafficking. Hello, my name is Anastasia. I am from Greece. I'm a, I am a psychologist. Uh, I'm really passionate about the project of sex trafficking and I would like to contribute as much as I can to help inform children about this important issue. Many caring adults feel that the topic of sex trafficking is too mature for a 12-year-old child. This is a tragedy that hits all demographics, male, female, rich and poor, U.S. citizens, foreign-born, it crosses racial, social and economic lines. My name is Brian Lee, I'm a student at Columbia University and I'm here today because this is a crime that is happening underneath our noses and we have to do something about it. My name is Lindsay and I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. I'm a designer in Brooklyn. I joined the fight to end sex trafficking because there's a remedy for the situation and it's about education. It's about educating women and men because if there wasn't a market for it, it wouldn't exist in the first place. I found out that the most powerful deterrent to child sex trafficking was an educated child. Hi, my name is Kathy Moran. I'm a native New Yorker and registered nurse. I join the cause against sex trafficking to protect the innocence of our boys and girls. Experts say there is no more dangerous of a situation for a child than to be trafficked. It is more dangerous than even going to war. Children are never warned about predators. Which makes them even more vulnerable to being trafficked. FBI says that human trafficking is the fastest growing crime in the world. And it will keep growing unless we do something about it. My name is Jane Rodas and I was director of an anti-human trafficking program in Connecticut where we rescued and assisted survivors of human trafficking. While there, I worked with a variety of organizations on the issue of sex trafficking, including the FBI, ICE, and the U.S. Attorney's Office. The comic book tells one of the most common trafficking stories, that of a child running away from home. The story depicts the enslavement techniques of the trafficker, offers resources available to the victims, and culminates with the two friends escaping the trafficker in a dramatic act of courage. This comic book is also written responsibly to satisfy the concerns of caring adults around them. She gathers the clues and they turn out to be the most common red flags of a child being trafficked. Along the way, a school guidance counselor gives Eden the confidence and the tools she needs on her investigation. Like how to spot a trafficker, how to stay out of vulnerable situations, and the adults she can go to for help. When Eden finds her friend Delaria, she discovers that she has been lured into sexual slavery 
by a human trafficker who promised food, protection, and love. I'm excited about the potential this comic book has to save lives. We're also creating an educational workshop to empower children to protect themselves against predators and traffickers. This workshop will be suitable for churches, for schools, and civic organizations. At the end of the comic book, there will be a tearaway business card with the phone number of the National Anti-Trafficking Hotline. But this comic book empowers children to become heroes who not only protect themselves, but are equipped to protect their friends, brothers, and sisters. And while most Kickstarter campaigns help realize great projects, this one helps save the lives of children and put a stop to this crime in your community. That's our definition of a superhero. And we want you to join us as part of a community of superheroes with a plan to fight this horrendous crime, both in your community and in communities around the world. And all we need is the pledge of one dollar from 8,000 people to make this project happen. Go check out our campaign page to pledge your support. No amount is too small. Along with your pledge, write the name of a local school, club, or community group, and as pledge amounts rise, it'll unlock donations of comic books to the local institutions with the most pledges. So post this link on Facebook and send it around to all your friends and members of community that you're involved in. Please do what you can to support this work. We can protect the most vulnerable members of our community, but only if we act together. Please go to the side of the page and pledge your support today.